This is my studio desk that I've had since college, or nearly 12 years now. It's made from various pieces of Ikea furniture. The bottom is a small desk. The top shelf is literally a shelf with legs attached to it, and I even made a makeshift keyboard tray for it. Ooh. I actually think this keyboard looks pretty good on the tray, but here's the secret. It doesn't go down low enough for it to push in. I attempted to keep the wires tidy with zip ties and cable mounts, but this definitely used to look a lot better than it does right now. She's been a great desk, but it's time for an upgrade. Sweetwater was kind enough to send me this Gator Frameworks Elite Series desk to take my home studio to the next level. This is my first actual studio desk I've ever owned, so I'm kind of excited about it, but we do have to assemble this thing, and I am not the most handy human alive, so, uh, We'll see how this goes. This one's as big as me. I went ahead and laid out all the pieces to get a nice camera shot, but it's very impractical because I can't really sit anywhere or work anywhere in this room. So it's not gonna look as pretty as we go, but this is definitely more pieces than I thought it would be, but you know, that's cool. Let's take on the challenge. Also, this is probably one of the only times you will see me in shorts on YouTube, so you're welcome, I guess. Based on these instructions, it looks like the first part we're making is the actual desk. I'm gonna screw the legs into the table. Seems doable. Attaching the legs to the tabletop is easy enough to follow, but man, if you don't have a drill, getting that first screw in might take a bit of force. Yeah! The process is simple. The desk has pre-drilled holes that you line the legs up with, then you just add four screws and you're on to the next one. Flying for no power tools. The first leg was the hardest, but the next three got easier. I kind of adjusted to the amount of force it takes to get the screws to go in. Once I was done, I felt pretty accomplished, but then I found out. It looks like the next step is to put more screws into it. You're gonna feel like you've screwed in 50 cam posts and dowels, but these are way easier to get on. And I kind of love attaching cams. It's super satisfying. But make sure you put them in the right way, otherwise you'll be doing this. They kind of break up the work for you, which is really nice. We started with the legs, which were more physical, then the cams, which are easy, and now back to more physical with these six connectors. So I gotta extend this bracket. Kind of the video made this look so easy and I don't know what I'm doing. Haha! -ha! All right, cool. I just gotta attach these. Screwing in the brackets was pretty easy. They give you pre-drilled holes here so you don't have to worry about getting them on straight with the level, which is a huge win. But I was definitely getting a little tired. Okay, my arms are killing me. <laughs> this would be way easier if I had an electric screwdriver, drill bit, whatever it is. Never ending screwdrivering. That's enough, right? <laughs> After a couple hours, I finally got to attach the keyboard tray wall to the desk and that felt good. Woo! Why can't Pilgrim furniture be only cams? These are my favorite. What do you think? Definitely starting to take shape now. I gotta do some measuring work to get the wire holder, wire organizer on. But I think that will hopefully be the last hard thing we have to do. Attaching the cable management rack is definitely one of the more challenging parts of the process. You have to measure it all out yourself to center it to the back of the keyboard tray or at least get it in a spot you like. They have a template you can download, but I clearly didn't do that. I measured like crazy, did the math, went for it, and it looked like it wasn't going to attach. But then I unscrewed the other side and tried it again, and it ended up being just fine. Now we flip over our table. Oh, and don't worry if the inside of the legs appear to be moving around or falling out. They're supposed to do that. Once it's upright, you can adjust the feet to get it level. Close enough. I can live with it. Attaching the actual keyboard tray is fairly easy because you just have to snap it into place. It did take me a couple tries, but once I got it right, the tray was rolling smooth. These holes in the desk are so you can attach a boom mic for podcasting or content creation. Pretty nifty. At this point, it had probably been four hours, mainly because I wasn't using any power tools and I was filming the whole process. I'm sure you could cut that time in half if you use power tools and you didn't film yourself. Now we were on the top shelf and you can probably guess what we had to do. 
You actually have the ability to set this desk up with either a single rack unit space or a double rack unit space. I think for me, since I'm not planning on racking anything at the moment, I'm just gonna go with the single because it gives you three bigger spaces as opposed to two really large spaces and a skinny one in the middle. I think visually that's just gonna look nicer, uh, but you know, hopefully that's true so that we don't have to redo this. But if we do need to redo it, we can. Configuring the rack units is very straightforward and depending on the configuration you choose, you'll notice that you may have put in too many cam rods in the beginning, like I did. But I gotta say, after a full day of assembling furniture, being this close to the finish line felt pretty awesome. So I continued to tighten those cams, line up the dowels, and get this top shelf situation finished. Now we needed to secure the top shelf to the desk. There were no pilot holes, so I had to dig deep to find that last bit of string to get these screws in, but I powered through it and was able to get it attached. I forgot I still had to attach the rack mounts. These had pilot holes, which helped, but once again, just get a drill and make your life easier. All right, we made it. This is essentially our final product here. I think it looks really cool. It's a lot taller than my other desk, so that'll be something to get used to. This is probably the appropriate height for a desk, but uh, yeah, it looks really good. Now I'm just gonna figure out how to configure all my stuff on here. I've been using this desk for about a week now and I honestly really love it. I didn't know what a big difference changing my desk could make. And I actually like that it's a little bit taller. It sort of reminds me of like strapping into a spaceship, getting ready to take off every time I sit down to use it. The cable management solutions are pretty excellent. I love that you can hide your power cords in the legs of the desk and that cable management rack in the back makes it super easy to keep things clean and out of sight. This desk is pretty legit. If you want to learn more about the Gator Frameworks Elite Series desk or grab one for yourself, be sure to click that Sweetwater link in the description. They are affiliate links, which means I can make a small commission off of purchases made through them, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. Big thank you again to Sweetwater for helping me upgrade my home studio with this awesome desk. And if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you next time. Woo!